Well, folks, it's really cool when we get to talk about things regarding Switch 2, especially when it comes to rumors from people who have proven to be fairly credible. Now, we've talked about a lot of things with Switch 2 over the last couple of years, whether it's screen size related or release date related, which, okay, those are rumors on top of rumors. They're just stacking it. We have reveal really related stuff, backwards compatibility rumors, and so many other stuff, and also some game rumors. And today we have a brand new game rumor in regards to Nintendo Switch 2. But before we dive into this rumor and who it's from, Folks, I gotta let you know about today's sponsor. One morning out of curiosity, I decided to Google my name, expecting the usual links to my social media, YouTube channels, all of that stuff, and maybe a few mentions on some websites here and there. But what I stumbled upon was a rabbit hole of data sites I'd never heard of before. Suddenly, I wasn't just a content creator, I was an open book. My kids' names, their ages, even their school information were all laid bare under my name. My family members' details, my parents, my grandparents were no exception. And to my horror, my private phone number was also floating out there. Now, I'm no stranger to the internet spotlight, but I had naively believed that some part of my identity remained private. That belief was shattered when a search for my fiance's name revealed our home address. How is it that such personal details are easily accessible by anyone with internet access? This wake up call led me to Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me exactly which data brokers had my information and automatically submits opt-out requests on my behalf. The peace of mind that comes with knowing I'm taking steps to protect my family's online presence is invaluable. Beyond just cleaning up my digital footprint, Aura offers a comprehensive suite of tools to keep me and my loved ones safe online, including antivirus, virtual private networks known as VPNs, password management, and more, all in one affordable package. I guarantee your information is out there too on these data broker sites. I encourage you to Google yourself right now and see where you are compromised. If you do nothing, the best case scenario is maybe just some more spam. The worst case scenario is scammers and thieves use this information to target you and your bank accounts. For anyone who values their privacy as much as I do, I highly recommend checking out Aura. You can start a 14 day free trial by visiting aura.com slash Nintendo Prime. It's also linked below in the description. Let's take back control of our online presence and protect what matters most. <laughs> Of course, what are we talking about when we're sitting here looking at this rumor? Well, we're talking about Nash Weedle, and Nash Weedle right now has a fairly good track record. He's gotten a few things correct, and a lot of other things are sort of just waiting on time to go by to see what happens. And this is a fairly interesting one because it's quite detailed. And normally when rumors are this detailed, it's kind of a red flag. But then again, this could be the people he's getting most of his information from. So I don't know. We got to dive in here because Nash Weedle is over here on Twitter talking about, that's right, the next Animal Crossing game coming out in 2026. And he seemingly even has the name of the game. That to me is quite fascinating. So here's what it says, as you see, translated from Spanish by Google. And it says Leak Express, the next Animal Crossing in development, and it will be an ultimate version. So maybe ultimate won't be in the name, but you know, it's an, an ultimate edition. Now, what's interesting is it involves a lot of new ideas. So game concepts, move around controlling vehicles. That's definitely new in Animal Crossing. Large city with skyscrapers. Again, very fascinating since that's never what Animal Crossing's really been about. Adventure missions, puzzles, and mini games. Okay, it's starting to not even sound like an Animal Crossing game. More collaborative multiplayer. The date is 2026 along with a series, whether, I don't know if it's a movie or TV series or something like that. 
Now, what I find interesting, of course, is just glancing at all of this stuff when we're talking about Animal Crossing, because look, obviously Animal Crossing New Horizons was a mega success for them. New Leaf back on 3DS was also a really big deal. So Animal Crossing has now become a tentpole franchise for Nintendo. So having one land in 2026, I don't think is an impossibility. It's just these ideas to me are just utterly fascinating vehicles okay adding vehicles alone is just a really big thing but why would you add vehicles animal crossing's maps have never been so large that you need that but maybe that's the power of switch too is that these maps are going to be huge and look if you're going to have these giant cities with skyscrapers does that mean we're no longer going to have terraforming because look terraforming was one of the coolest things are we no longer going to build up our own house our own unique look pick where people live maybe we will maybe it all works out I think the most interesting part about all of this, if this rumor is true, and I would love for it to be true, is that this is a new, unique, fresh take on Animal Crossing. Like we've had, you know, city folk and stuff in the past, but it never really was an actual city. I truly think this could be a very unique direction for Animal Crossing, and maybe it's that next step. And if they're gonna launch it along with a TV series or something like that. I think that also makes sense. Nintendo does believe in doing a lot of cross promotion and cross collaborative efforts. It's one reason why people think, you know, around the time the Donkey Kong theme park finally opens up and is ready to go out in Universal Japan, Nintendo might announce a Donkey Kong game because Nintendo likes to use cross promotions like that. We've seen this with Pikmin Bloom, with obviously the Pikmin 4 game and Pikmin uh, 3 Deluxe and Pikmin 1 and 2. Uh, coming back at HD, but not only that, they put Pikmin in the theme parks as well, just as an Easter egg. I find it really cool. Obviously, we've seen it with Mario, with the Mario movie, the Mario theme parks, Super Mario Wonder, right? Nintendo likes to do a lot of these cross-promotion events, so I do think that this is plausible, and again, Animal Crossing's massive, 40 million plus in sales on Switch. Yeah, it hit at the right time during the pandemic, but we can't pretend that Animal Crossing selling 11 million plus on 3DS wasn't already a very popular series. So while this next one may not hit the heights of Animal Crossing New Horizons, or maybe it will, because again, more collaborative multiplayer. I think they're trying to focus more on a multiplayer experience with this game. And if that's the case, that's just gonna add replayability and maybe given a sort of massively multiplayer online feeling you know like an mmo i just i'm really curious about this direction and i'm curious what your thoughts are on this direction as well again i i'm not like the biggest expert in animal crossing i just play it i enjoy it i love it and i gotta say there better damn well be fishing fishing is one of me and yulia my fiance's favorite things to do in animal crossing Allow there to be collaborative fishing. and Let us set up giant aquariums in our house. I know we can set up like individual ones for one fish. No, no, no. I want to build an aquarium wall inside my city house that really realistically should be pretty tiny because you don't have a lot of room in the city. But you know what? I'm going to be the person with the most bells, a billionaire bell holder. I want my giant shark tank with all the other fishies in there just because I can. So I don't know, just throw an idea to the wall again. This is just a rumor. We don't know if it's true, but it is certainly really damn fun to think about. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Clearly, I think Animal Crossing is going to get a new game on Switch too. So I don't think that part of this is that crazy, but thinking it's this ultimate version where, why is it an ultimate version? Because it sounds like it's just fundamentally taking the series in a new direction. That's not a bad thing, by the way, if they handle this right. Also kind of fascinating when we think about this being this whole city thing because we just had Pokemon Legends, you know, ZA announced and that appears to take entirely place in Lumino City, another game that's just focused just on city stuff. Is that going to be a theme here for the Switch 2? Now, I know Legends is going to Switch, but I'm just saying this is going to be an upcoming theme with Nintendo games where we have a lot of games based in cities. I don't know. It's not that thing. I mean, we had New Donk City, but we weren't really in New Donk City in Mario Odyssey for very long. Are we going to be in some sort of city even longer in the next Mario game? I don't I, I feel like there might be a theme starting to pop up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.